let's talk about evaluating option liquidity. Before we dig in, let's think about what it means for something to be liquid. From our perspective, we consider an investment to be liquid if you can enter and exit it efficiently. When working with stocks, there's really only two directions, buy or sell. As a result, something as simple as daily volume can be used as a reliable measure for how easy it is to trade that stock to your needs. It's a bit different for options. First off, optionable stocks generally have many options to choose from. This enables savvy investors to express extremely precise views and strategies. However, the relatively low trading volume and open interest means that evaluating how liquid the options are for a given stock is a complex process. There are a lot of factors to think about. The first set of factors we consider has to do with how granular an investor can get when staking out a position. For this, we consider things like how many option series a specific stock offers, as well as whether it offers weekly options or leaps. We also analyze the width of the strikes, especially near the money. We take into consideration things like the total volume of options traded, as well as the total open interest. And finally, we factor in the trading liquidity of key options. These are options around 30 days out and within a single volatility movement from the forward price. When it comes to evaluating the liquidity of a specific option, we consider the slippage of the bid-ask spread. If the slippage is no more than $0.05, cents, then we consider that option liquid. Or, if the option slippage is no more than 5%, we also consider that option liquid. For example, if you could buy an option for $2 and immediately sell it for $1.90, the net loss would be 5% of the original investment. It might not sound great, but our research has shown that this is a fair line to draw here. At Quantra, we have developed a proprietary rating system that distills a given stock's option liquidity down to a 1 to 5 scale. It's an objective rating based on market conditions and is a metric we regularly update throughout the day. Our top tier is what we consider great liquidity. You should be able to enter and exit positions with complex legs at fair prices throughout the day. On a typical day, 1 to 2 percent of the market qualify for this rating. Our next tier covers stocks with good option liquidity. These stocks have plenty of options available, and their key options will generally have good liquidity themselves. This rating typically contains the next 1 to 2 percent of optionable stocks. Next, we have stocks with a fair option liquidity. These stocks have lightly traded options with moderate bid-ask spreads. There should be enough options to express most common views, although there will be a noticeable liquidity cost. The next 5 to 10 percent of stocks usually have this rating. As we get into the poor liquidity tier, we find stocks that have some lightly traded options with an expanding bid-ask spread. There will be fewer terms available, and those terms may have wide strike widths. Around 20 to 30 percent of stocks generally have this rating on a daily basis. The final set of stocks are those we consider to have no liquidity. Now, you can obviously trade these options, but you should expect to take a substantial liquidity hit to do so. We've invested a lot in making liquidity an integral part of our tools over at Quantra.com. One of the key places you'll find our liquidity data is on our stock and trade screeners. You can easily filter down to include only stocks that meet certain liquidity or criteria. You can also filter down to require stocks that have weekly options, if such as if you're playing earnings. There's even a filter to require leap options if you have a longer time horizon in mind. In the stock search results, you'll see some icons that help you easily understand the option liquidity for that stock. The drops are color-coded by liquidity rating. Green drops indicate good or great liquidity. Yellow drops have fair or poor liquidity. And red drops are for stocks that have the worst liquidity. Next to the drop icon, you'll see a green indicator for whether the stock offers weekly options. Otherwise, it'll be red. To the right of that is an indicator for leap options. It's also green if available and red if not. If you're using our option search to find a trade based on a specific underlying and expiration, we provide a filter to exclude trades that involve illiquid options. This makes sure that you only see trades where all options meet our option liquidity filter described earlier. If you happen to be analyzing a trade with at least one liquid option, we will let you know in the analyzer. 
In this case, one of the legs is outside of our liquidity filter, so we provide a warning right at the top. We also include liquidity calculations in our book management tools. For example, here is the typical covered call payoff on the last day of its term. If you enable the liquidity adjustment, it will perform some fairly sophisticated modeling based on the current liquidity surface. It will then apply the modeled surface to more accurately reflect the market value of your positions at that future date. Since this analysis was configured to buy back an option if it were in the money at all, you can see that the return dips slightly as the call option gets deeper in the money to account for the additional liquidity costs of buying back that short position. We make our liquidity data available via our data API. This includes our daily liquidity rating and flags for stocks that have weekly and leap options available. We cover over 4,000 optionable U.S. equities with history back to 2010. This gives you the full flexibility to integrate liquidity into your personal and professional tools any way you like. To sum up, liquidity is the measure we use for gauging how easy it is to enter and exit precise option positions. We've developed several liquidity data points, including a sophisticated rating system. These points are deeply integrated within our tools and available via our API. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below or hit us up at hello at quantia.com. As always, good luck and good hunting.